Hello guys, my name is Miranda Mate, official artist of the National Art Gallery of Bulawayo. I'm, I'm located in Studio 9, that's where I do my daily based practices based on feminism. So my work usually focuses on feminism to empower and let them know the feminine power that they have within themselves. So I use fabric mosaic and glue, so we call that mixed media. So that's how I kind of express my work using the fabric, which has so many symbols in it that get connected to the women as well. So I understand the men connected to fabric and how they dress. So that's my daily practice that I do. Um, so I've been here at a um, retreat in Kami Lodge for, for five days now. Yeah, for five days now. So to be honest, I've learned a lot. I've managed to get out of my comfort zone and start something new that is out of my working style which is wood and that is totally different texture and total it's, it's something hard to maintain in all that from my daily base practice so yeah this is what i've been doing okay so this is the wood that i've been picking so actually the idea is not to contribute to climate change but to set a warning to people as well so what i've been doing with this there is, this is dead wood actually so i wasn't cutting down any tree so this is dead wood that i was picking already on the bush so the, my work talks about uh, this wood being beyond being firewood i guess that makes sense okay so this is not just i, I understand that most people when they see these they see firewood but it has a very important role that it plays to the environment itself. Because when it's burnt, you eat this, the smoke con it, uh, affects the ozone layer. But then with this, you can do a lot of stuff with it. It's a habitant on its own for insects whatsoever. At the same time, it, 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 it has moisturizing agent to, to the soil that helps the living trees as well. So it has a lot of cycle that, that it has besides it being wood. So it will be an installation at the National Arts Gallery of Bulawayo and yes it will be well taken care of like as in sprayed yes so the idea is to give the audience the, the chance to see this wood this beyond being it firewood so that them to understand what it means to the nature as well and what it gives back to them as well without them burning it My name is Charles Nkomo. I'm a visual artist in Bulawayo. I came in this workshop with the National Art Gallery. Uh, this whole workshop talks about the climate change. So this is my first piece entitled uh, The World Around Us. For me, these are, are the people. And at the same time, these are the planets that are around the world. The whole concept for me, as an artist, we need to be responsible when it comes to climate change. So I picked these things around our nature and then I made a piece out of it. So these plates are once passed in somebody's hands, in my hands, in a lot of people's hands. So at the same time, we are the ones that are destroying the nature. So I'm trying to bring a change to everyone, to every planet around us. I thank you. I really benefited a lot because I think this is my second piece to work on metal and canvas. I haven't been doing this kind of a work but I'm thinking of venturing into recycling. Uh, 
Uh, this is my second piece entitled Rebirth. In everything that we do as people, destroying of the, the earth, destroying of the nature, burning of the trees. So Rebirth, I'm talking about us now realizing our mistakes that we're doing to this earth. Rebirth is a piece that talks about us coming back realizing everything that we have done wrong. So that's why I give him a title ribbon. Hello, my name is Zandile Masugu. I am a visual artist, I am an architect, and I am an educator. Um, we are at Kami Lodge, Kami Areas, or is that a secret? I don't know. Anyway, um, at this workshop we are focusing on climate change. Um, climate change is actually one of the issues that I was already dealing with in my work. I am an abstract painter um, currently. I am working on semi-abstract paintings that are exploring um, the idea of climate change. The concept I'm working on now has to do with the idea of taking a strip out of the landscape and the way that I have painted it, I've organized the space into strips again. The most emphasis being placed on the sky or the atmosphere, which is where climate change mostly occurs. So the way that I've done it is I've put the sky, then I've put trees, and then I've put this red light, and then I've put this earth. Each of these four things represents something, but most importantly, the red line is basically talking about us as human beings, that we need to stop and shift our focus to the atmosphere. Very simple stuff. <laughs> so since I've been here, I've shifted from working in a purely abstract way or conceptual way where now I'm still working conceptually but I've shifted to semi-abstract and that's what I'm doing now. Hello, uh, my name is Talent Kapata. I'm a visual artist painter. Uh, currently, I'm a resident artist at the National Gallery in Bulawayo. I've been a resident artist for the last uh, five years. Uh, currently, I'm here at Kami Lodge, where we are working on a concept theme, uh, climate change. So, these are some of the pieces that I've come up with in terms of exploring space um, and concept. So, I try to capture an idea of transitioning into capturing the seeds and also to understand the idea of continuity and also add a bit of color and fire in the movement. For an example, this piece is actually depicting the idea of contaminated water and the pollution in the sky and the ozone layer as well try to understand what causes the ozone depletion so that's mainly what i'm i've been here for the last six days so this is my day six uh, i've been creating pieces and pieces um, for an example i did a, a lot of uh, found objects so i've been picking different types of found objects try and compile them together and come up with a collective one art piece that is going to be more of a series. Um, talking about this um, piece, it's more of a, ex 
exhibition whereby I create and collect different type of organic materials. But mainly on this one, there is more of uh, seeds. So when you look at the idea of sprouting and spreading all over, let's try to depict the continuity. So there's a connection between nature and the human nature in terms of uh, when you look at the way plants and trees, uh, they are pollination process. At the same time, there is also the idea that when you try to avoid the veiled fires, that's where you can try and preserve that continuity from uh, destroying the seed. So this whole concept on this first artwork here is the fire burning the vegetation, it's like all the veiled fires. And if you destroy all the seeds, then you stop the idea of continuity. So in a way, this piece depicting the whole concept of continuity, that's all about it. Hi, my name is Ome Kamasu. <coughs> I'm a resident artist from the Art National Gallery. I started working there since uh, 2016. I'm still the youngest female artist there. Still experimenting, trying to find myself in a signature. Uh, mostly I work using palette knife, I paint using oil and uh, canvas. I use mostly dark colors. Um, I express most of the paintings due to the current situation that's happening in my economy and my society. Okay, and today I'm here at this retreat in Kami. It's a bit challenging for me because I moved from my comfort zone to the bush so that I can work with what I found here. And the theme is climate change. So what I'm working right now on is to protect the land uh, from us as human beings and the green bees that are happening on the environment. It's been a challenge for me because uh, I can't work with what I'm used to at the studio for the meantime. So I have to compromise with what is here. I guess that's all I can say. It's a... Uh, uh, it's been good because I'm learning on new skills and new techniques and meeting with the other new artists. I get more time to express my work and talk about it. Uh, that's all I can say. Uh, my name is Nong Fuyiso Mavi. I'm a full-time actress and slash visual artist. Um, I do my daily work as an actress that's my everyday job. So I came to this retreat to come and revive my visual art side because um, I think it's about uh, 12 years or so without doing any paintings and anything. I've been sticking to acting. So I came to this retreat to come and do, mostly the reason was uh, coming to do a collaboration. I want to collaborate uh, performance and visual art. So I think I think it is going to work out for me because I'm going to have a performance tomorrow. So I think, yeah. And uh, yeah, I managed to do uh, three, four pieces of um, paintings and one of them is an installation. 
uh, titled um, Plastic World. I was trying to tell a story about what humans have done to the nature. We came to the nature and destroyed everything because of our carelessness, throwing plastic, throwing a lot of things into the nature and now our world has turned to plastic because of our our uncleanness. So I think we have um, damaged the environment since our 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 theme here at the retreat is uh, climate change. So I'm hoping those pieces will send the message uh, about uh, climate change. My name is Dumisan Ndovo. I'm a visual artist based at the National Gallery of Zimbabwe in Bulawayo. Uh, I came here to this uh, artist retreat workshop uh, to respond to the theme of global warming. So this is the work that I produced. That, that one on top of it is talking about uh, <laughs> uh, global warming, where there will be plant rain caused by uh, global warming. And this one uh, uh, next to me is talking about acid rain. Uh, acid rain is caused by pollution, so I'm trying to, to let people are aware to, to take care of the nature, not cut trees, uh, to look after our, our, our nature. This is what I've come to do, and I, I like the atmosphere here, the natural atmosphere. It's unlike painting when you are in the studio, there you are, it's like you are in a box, painting in a box, but now I'm outside the box, I'm painting here, I'm enjoying it. These are the pieces that I produced today. Good afternoon, my name is Joseph Unyuki. I am employed by the National Gallery of Zimbabwe as a salesperson. I came here to be part of the ATMI, looking after the artist. But when I saw artists working, I felt the energy. And they also encouraged me to, to paint. Uh, painting. I'm I'm a, I'm a part-time artist. Um, I've been painting ever since I joined the gallery. I've got works that I've sold all over the world. So when I came and saw the artist working, I also followed the wave and produced these works that you see. This is a series. The first work was this one. It was supposed to be a series, but we ran out of uh, material. Then we had to, I had to jump into producing this colorful one. But I wanted to produce this natural one. That, that was the idea. But when uh, we, ra we ran out of glue, I decided to do that series. I was responding to the theme. Um, I'm talking about the balancing of nature. Uh, human beings, when they kill snakes, when they cut trees, it creates uh, imbalances in the ecosystem, which leads to global warming. So this one, as you see, as you can see, it was made naturally um, from found object around the lodge. Um, um, that was responding to the to the theme actually. <laughs> <laughs> 